Ladies and gentlemen, as everyone settles in their seats, in accordance with the fire regulations of the City of St. Lambert, would like to bring to your attention that there are four emergency exits in the auditorium, one at the top of each stairway and two in the front on each side of the room. We would also like to ask for everyone to keep their cell phones off or put them on silent mode. Ladies and gentlemen, I invite you to welcome the 2022 graduating class of Champlain College St. Lambert. <laughs> Mr. François Paradis, Chairperson of the Board of Governors of Champlain Regional College, Madame Bonnet Côté, Director General of Champlain Regional College, Mr. Don Schuen, Director of Considering College Champlain St. Lambert and Director of Studies, distinguished guests, faculty, staff, parents, and more importantly, you, dear graduates, good afternoon and welcome to the 2022 Champlain St. Lambert graduation ceremony. Before going any further, the college wants to honor the land, on, the land on which we stand. With clear minds and respect, we would like to begin by acknowledging that Champlain College St. Lambert is located on the unceded lands of the Gagne Gehaga Nation. 
The Ganyang Geha people are acknowledged as the custodians of the lands and water on which we gather. Jonga, Montreal, has, we, has long been a place of gathering for indigenous peoples, and we recognize the diversity of indigenous people who now reside on the land. We continuously recognize the importance of fostering positive relationships with the indigenous peoples of the, of the land and their future generations. The college would like to thank our indigenous student ambassadors, along with the leaders of the Ganawagi community who have written this land acknowledgement statement. At this time, to start off our graduation ceremony, I'd like to invite Madame Odette Cote, Director General of Champlain General College, to say a few words. Good afternoon, everyone. It's really an honor for us to have you here today to celebrate the success of our students. I'll begin my text by acknowledging Mr. Uh, François Paradis, Chairman of the Board of Governors, Mrs. Dawn Smith, who is not able to be with us at this very moment. She is the Chair of the Governing Board, Board and Governing Board members who could not all be here with us today, Mr. Don Schuen. Constituent College Director at St. Lambert, distinguished guests, colleagues, graduates, Champlain employees, and all of those who are in the back. Ladies and gentlemen, we wish to thank you for being here today to celebrate the success of our students. Now parents and friends, we share the same pride to see that our graduates are ready to take under, undertake new challenges, different paths, to attain new summits. Their successes are the result of the unconditional support, the comprehension, and the generosity that they received during their studies. Thanks to all those who have supported their efforts and have contributed to their success during this unprecedented world pandemic, where you all found innovative ways in helping them to get to the finish line. Now for you students, Speaking of the pandemic, nothing prepared us for any of this at all, nor for you, nor for us, nor for anybody in this room. Neither are we ever prepared enough for life's challenges. So the pandemic is one big challenge, but there will be others. But at the same time, uncertainties do allow us to keep our balance, to stay agile, and to expect the unexpected. We never thought that you would be online, offline, in person, back to online, masks, no masks, but we're here today. We must learn to accept failure and work hard to succeed in doing what we love to do. Graduation is just the beginning of a long journey where the field of intervention now covers the entire planet. The challenges are enormous and you will have the opportunity, even the duty to contribute to solutions. It is with skills, innovation, and grit that you will dare intervene in changing the world while supporting the values of new generations. Strive for excellence like you did to get your diploma, where the extra efforts will bring you pride and the expected results, elevating you, you towards new summits. The diploma that you will receive crowns the incommensurate academic and collective efforts that you have deployed through a host of extremely talented and intelligent people. Don't ever be, don't ever be afraid to take the necessary steps to ensure to pursue your dreams as success lies between obstacles passion, and perseverance. Never give up, please never give up. Take with you the lessons learned at Champlain to live a good life with freshness, humor, and insight. Choose, a wonderful, choose to be a wonderful human being and take care of what really matters to you. Take care of what you feel is in your heart. We wish you the very best of success, and please know that you will always be welcome at Champlain. 
and sincere congratulations. First step in this afternoon's ceremony, I'd like to invite Mr. Anthony Singlis, Dean of Curriculum and Faculty Development, to present the graduation certificates to our graduates. Thank you, Christina. It is my pleasure to welcome all graduates, as well as parents, family, friends, and teachers who are celebrating with you today and cheering you on to the next steps in defining your path. This group, we're doing four groups today, this group is a little more special for me for one reason. I'm a graduate of social science choice option at another college. And 42 years ago today, at 3.14 p.m., my name was being called to the stage. So just like you, I was sitting in an, in an auditorium, it was a little stuffy like today, and it was humid, and it was raining, but I was excited and invigorated. I remember that day vividly, and I hope that you will remember this day vividly as well. From wearing your blue gowns, we wore blue back then, but they were cheap plastic, they weren't what you've got right now, <laughs> and the motorboard and tassel, um, there was a buzz in the air, and the memories stick with me to this day. So I hope that you feel the same way and that you're proud of your accomplishments and everything that has brought you here to this day. If you think about how far you've all come, individually and as, as a class, especially during the pandemic, that was only supposed to last two weeks. <laughs> yeah, just two weeks. Um, you realize that these past few years, you were presented with many obstacles and challenges and that you overcame them. And to me, the, world that, the word that best describes you guys is resilient. The class of 2022 is definitely a resilient group. The fact that you made it here is a testament to your commitment, tenacity, and perseverance. Because of that, I know that our future is bright, even though we're hitting a couple of hiccups in the road right now. So congratulations from us to you. It is now my pleasure to introduce our first graduate in social science. I call to the stage, Catherine Kilmacaren. And give her a round of applause. And from the option that I graduated from, our first graduate is Ivana Athantar. Tutor, Christina Bordian. <laughs> Christina is also the recipient of the Millennium Certificate of Merit for Democracy and Social Movements. <laughs> Xavier Boudreau.
On a tué du bal. Bruna Ferreira Duarte. Luis Alberto Garcia. Juliana Hinchan. Sumaya Hussein. Jordan Ellie Joseph. Manaz Kadami. Amelia La Fontaine. <laughs> Alexa Lebeau. <laughs> Sayana Lula. Osama is also the recipient for the History Award for the highest academic achievement in history. <laughs> Kathy, thank you very much. We will continue with Ian Gartner to the stage. Our next graduate is Paul Morceau. Adiel Massey. Adiel is also the recipient of the Sociology Prize for the highest academic achievement in sociology. <laughs> Beatrice Cavill. Margaret Ann Rock. <laughs> Rose Kana. <laughs> Xavier Tromley. Social Science General Option is Rose Varanes. Thank you, Ian. We will continue with Catherine Kozminski coming to the stage. Ian, thank you very much. And we now continue with our graduates from the Criminology Option of Social Science. <laughs> our first graduate is Lauriane Amos.
Hassan, Bouchard, Gagnon. Joliane Roux. Beatrice Cardillo. Miranda Di Zazot. Miranda is the recipient of the Prix d'Excellence en Français en reconnaissance de la réussite scolaire élevée et de l'engagement personnel à l'apprentissage. Catherine, thank you very much. We're going to continue our presentation with Sandy Resendez. And we are still with criminology. Anne Liez, Thelma, Eckhart, Moxie. Angelina Prasad. Striker Siad. She is Mo Lanzang. <laughs> well, that is also the recipient of the Millennium Certificate of Merit for Critical Race Studies and is the recipient of the Lieutenant Government Governor of Quebec Medal for Champlain College. <laughs> Sandy, thank you very much. We now continue with the graduates from education. To help me with the presentation is Jane Lebrun. And our first graduate from education, our future educators, 
is Arisha Ali. <laughs> Certificate of Merit for Indigenous and Decolonization Studies and Millennium Certificate of Merit for De Democracy and Social Movements. <laughs> Kelsey Kleefeld. Raphael Lossard. <laughs> and our final graduate from education option is Amy Moore. Continue now the presentation for the psychology option. I call to the stage Andrea Vidal. Can I hear that again? Our first graduate from the psychology option is Florence Auclair. Marie-Ève Bélin. <laughs> Laura Breacher. Magdalene Christopoulos. <laughs> and Sophie Coulomb. Thank 
Grace Dominico. Leanne Dufal. in psychology, I call the Sage of Yevobun. Our next recipient is, our next graduate rather, is Florence Malo. Florence is also the recipient of the Social Science Program Prize in recognition of the highest academic achievement in social science. studies. Prize for the highest academic achievement in anthropology. Certificate of Merit for Indigenous and Decolonization Studies. <laughs> Emily Vaughn. Science 
Hyman Psychology Option Prize for the highest academic achievement in psychology option. And the Millennium Certificate of Merit for Gender Studies. That leaves us with just one more graduate. Let's have a round of applause for Erica Zatilla. Thank you very much, Anthony. This wraps up the presentation for the diplomas of our graduates. We now move on to the special awards presentations. I would ask Mo Lan Zhang, outgoing VP clubs for the Champlain Student Association, to come and present two awards on behalf of the Champlain Student Association. Everybody. So, as mentioned, my name is Molan Zhang, and I am here today representing the Champlain Student Association. And I have the honor to give out two CSA bursaries at this ceremony. So, the CSA wants to honor students who have shown perseverance and determination through various involvement activities, either on or outside of campus. The CSA kindly requests that you see these bursaries as a symbolic gesture. Indeed, these awards have the purpose of uplifting and supporting students having distinct passions and backgrounds. Now, without further ado, here are the two categories represented in this ceremony. The Student Advocacy Bursary is awarded to students who have demonstrated efforts and strategies to be an advocate for students on campus or in their community. Hannah McGregor Petit has been an, an outstanding advocate, creating a safe space for Indigenous students advocating for indigenous voices and sharing her culture with the student body. With the indigenous student ambassadors, Hannah has organized events such as the Buffalo Hat Singers and the Survival Kiosk. Congratulations to Hannah for being an amazing advocate and for working towards diversifying our community. The second category is the Student Involvement Bursary, which is awarded to students who have invested a significant amount of effort and time into one or multiple volunteer activities. Esther Gito has given a significant amount of her time in organizing and leading the Champlain College Model United Nations Club. Under her leadership, club members attended conferences such as the North American MUN and the Concordia MUN where they were awarded with outstanding large delegation. Congratulations, Esther, for the numerous efforts you have made to create a more lively and welcoming community. to introduce Mr. Dean Howie, Dean of Student Services at the college, to present the Andre E. LeBlanc Student Life Award. 
Thank you. Just before I get to this award, I just want to mention what wasn't said by Molan before about Esther, is our model UN club is rated second in Canada behind only one university. They're ahead of McGill University, they're ahead of this. They're ranked 22nd in North America, ahead of Harvard, ahead of Yale. So, My pleasure to uh, distribute, to bestow upon someone the uh, Andre E. LeBlanc Student Life Award. Um, it's given this year to someone who showed outstanding and extraordinary leadership, who demonstrated exceptional involvement and volunteer commitment with Champlain College. They were a member and one of the strong leaders of the first year leadership program, which here is called the FLIP program. Um, in conjunction, she also served as an, an active executive on the Champlain Student Association as the vice president of clubs. She was very, very dedicated and one of the founders in working um, in our multicultural program and also our BLAM, which is the Black Lives Allyship Mission. So she's active and has made a positive impact everywhere in our community. I hope she's not too tired from walking up and down. I'd like to ask her to come back up here. Molan Zang. <laughs> Mr. Scott O'Brien. He, he said one of the most. More. <laughs> Man, this is awesome. Just looking at our sea of blue. Big round of applause for you guys. Thank you so much for letting us be a part of this. I'm stalling because I'm trying to prepare my speech in my head. And the best way to do it is to give accolades to people. Uh, this student is not here today, but we thought it was very important to um, give her the accolades that she deserves. Um, I'm totally going to butcher her last name. But this student played for our women's basketball team, and she was an RSEQ All-Star, a CCA All-Canadian, an academic All-Star. She led our women's basketball team to their first ever trip to the Nationals. And besides that, what really makes me happy to give her this award is she's just a wonderful person. She always has a smile on her face, and it's just infectious. So, Sauda, I hope you're watching. Sauda Nita Nayagize. Pretty good, eh? Congratulations, Sauda. I am now the most popular. For our next award, I'd like to invite Jane LeBrun sociology teacher, to present the South Shore Retired Educators Award. I'm particularly delighted to be able to present this award as a teacher in the education option, and particularly delighted this year because the student I'm gonna award it to definitely showed passion during incredibly difficult times where the entire um, course was done online. So, the South Shore Retired Educators Award is given every year to a student who has demonstrated a passion for learning and wishes to continue in education and bring this passion to the field of teaching. So this year, the award goes to Flavie Bellin. session, I'd like to invite our Director General, Madame Odette Cote, to present the South Shore University Women's Club Judith Sherman Award. So 
this award, the Janet Sherman Award, is presented to a female student pursuing their studies in education and who has obtained high academic merit. The award is presented to Rose Soprana. presentation, I'd like to invite Mr. François Paradis, chairperson of the Champlain Regional College Board of Governors, to address our graduates on behalf of the board. Merci beaucoup, Christian. Disting distinguished guest, guest, I'm going to say it right, distinguished guests, <laughs> friends and families, members of the faculty, professionals, support staff, management of the college, and especially you, the graduates of the 2022, uh, <laughs> and especially you to the students of the graduating class of 2022. There you go. I am extremely proud to get this opportunity, the opportunity to address you all on this important occasion. A day where we celebrate your individual success. A day where we celebrate all of your receiving honors for your talents and your perseverance. A day where we make, you make us proud to see, uh, to see you develop as well-rounded, responsible and informed citizens of the world. J'aimerais également prendre cette occasion pour remercier toute la communauté de Champlain-Saint-Lambert. Les membres du personnel de soutien, les professionnels, les enseignants, l'équipe de gestion et les parents qui ont su garder le focus et à rester dévoués à favoriser la réussite, et la réussite individuelle de nos élèves et leur développement dans des circonstances sans précédent. Au nom du conseil d'administration, nos plus sincères merci. Apple's CEO, Mr. Tim Cook, once said, you should make decisions, big and small, every day based on a deep understanding of who you are and what you believe in. These are not static things, and you wouldn't want them to be. You will learn more and grow more with each passing year, as all of us do. But there are foundational values that are, uh, that are to your core, uh, and the, the core of your personality and the character, and these are the things you should choose to live by. Knowing who you are will help you when it's time to fight. Fight for the job you want, fight for the people who mean the most to you, and fight for the kind of world you want to live in. It will help when people say that's impossible or you can't do that. If you take that unexpected opportunity when they come up, if you know yourself, if you fight for what you believe in, I can promise you that you will live a, live a life that is rich and meaningful. Knowing who you are will also make you learn from these experiences. Experiences where families of friends were created along the way. Families of friends that looked out for each other at every step out of the way. If there is one key message I want you to take away from this speech, it's this, you are all capable of taking on any obstacle that may lie in your life, in any country, at any moment in your lifetime. May you grow up to make us proud and achieve the highest in human values. My most sincere congratulations, graduating class of 2022. presentation of the session, I'd like to invite our campus director, Director of the City College and Director of Studies, Mr. Don Schuen. Thanks, 
Chris, I just need to make one thing perfectly clear. With all those titles, they only give me one paycheck. <laughs> um, and I probably don't deserve it most days, but we're not telling them. Um, we really are proud of you. Uh, and we're so grateful that you chose Champlain as your college. Uh, just listening to people come up the applause and the awards. Uh, oh, before I forget, I told the nursing teachers that they won the prize for being the loudest group. You just beat them. Uh, but seriously, there's a, there's a collective sense that you feel in the room of support for each other, of, of true joy when, when one succeeds and the others are all happy. It's just, it really is amazing. Et puis, j'aimerais profiter de l'occasion pour remercier des étudiants qui ont choisi de poursuivre leurs études en anglais. Ces jours ici, on pourrait embarquer dans toutes sortes de discussions politiques, mais il y a une chose que je voudrais faire net clair. Je, autant que possible, les admissions au séjour Champlain-Saint-Lambert vont être basées sur la qualité de la performance académique des étudiants qui veulent étudier ici. Ça veut dire, vous le méritez. I would like to thank all of those of you who have supported these fine folks during their journey, and the ones who have contributed to their success, their families and their friends who are here today some who, who couldn't make it. Um, my request is pass on our thanks to them too, if you would. And there's just absolutely no way that I can make a speech without recognizing the excellence of the faculty and staff work at Champlain. They're extraordinary all of the time. But the, the job that they did during the pandemic, pandemic, that's what makes Champlain the great school that it is. It's these folks here. Let's give them a round of applause. impact our lives? Um, what would happen if we assumed that today was our last day? What would we do? Would it change our priorities? Would we regret not having done something? You know, it struck me that um, one of the things that you could take away from this talk, hopefully, is, is exactly that. Learn like you're going to live forever. There are very few things in life that give me more joy than learning be it a new idea, a new skill, a new word, just about anything. There's a real joy in discovering, in discovering something new and growing. And I can tell you it's one of the major reasons that I am still here after 48 years. This environment stimulates learning and it is a privilege to be here. And anybody who works here will tell you the same thing. It is. Um, by the way, Anthony, I top you one because I have a Sejep deck in social science, 1971. Okay? I guess that makes me one of you. The only thing I got to complain about is he talks about choice. At Dawson at that stage, there wasn't one. There was one social science program, no options. Oh, so you've got it far better. What if I were to live forever and never grow? You know, I think I'd be like a stagnant pond, just rotting and decaying. And, and how many people have you seen come to a point in their lives where they, they stop and they just keep drifting, doing exactly the same thing from day to day? So let me ask, is, is that really living or is it just simply existing? 
One day, Christopher Wren, a famous architect of St. Paul's Cathedral in London, passed by the cathedral while it was under construction, and he, he noticed three bricklayers working on the building. So he stopped and he asked the first man, what are you doing? And the man said, I'm laying bricks. I won't try the British accent on you, but um, the, the second man, when he asked what he was doing, he said, I'm building a wall. And the third man, he volunteered before even being asked, and with tremendous pride, he said, I am erecting a cathedral to the Almighty. What's your vision for the rest of your life? Have you ever considered enlarging it into something uplifting, something magnificent? I can, you know, I can see someone asking me at the end of my days at Champlain, so what'd you accomplish? Yeah, behave now. Um, <laughs> My response, my response isn't going to be that I helped to build buildings. Not that I, I worked on developing new programs, but rather this. I had the privilege of working on building a great college that changes the lives of women and men. That's you guys. And you? What will be your life's work? What will be the lasting, mem lasting memory that you leave on the planet? What will, what will you? No, make that we. Um, make that we because we're in this together. And ultimately, for this planet, we're all equally accountable. What will we fully rob the world of if we simply see our lives as mundane, repetitive, and unimportant? And what will we rob ourselves of? Each one of us has at least one gift, one thing that makes us unique. Now, whether we choose to use it or we hide it in a dark closet is up to each of us. Now, there's a corollary to that um, that I wanted to share with you. You and I will screw up. I don't know if you're supposed to say that in a grad speech, but it's too late. Um, <laughs> but that's the truth. We're going to fail. And, and here's a, a confession that um, a couple of them already heard this, that I wouldn't want the staff and faculty to remind me of too often, but I regularly make mistakes. Some are even good enough to be called failures. And over the years, I've learned that few of those mistakes or failures are fatal. The big question is, what do we do about them when they happen? And I've learned that the first thing I need to do is to recognize it for what it is, and the second is to learn from it. As I was preparing this speech, I came across something that I think is worthwhile in considering our mistakes. A writer named John Maxwell, in his book, Feel Forward, wrote the, the, wrote the following about dealing with a dead horse. Now, I thought the list was kind of humorous, but it really is pertinent to our failures in life. So he said, here's a list of things people do with that. He said, the first thing they do is buy a stronger whip. The second thing they do is change riders. Remember, we're talking about a dead horse, remember here. Huh? They appoint a team to revive the horse. They now send out a memo declaring that the horse isn't really dead. They harness several dead horses together for increased speed and efficiency. This begins to sound like a government bureaucracy to you. They rewrite the definition of a live horse and finally, they declare the horse to be better, faster, and cheaper when dead. Now, how often do we, do we, how often when we fail do we insist on keeping on and on with the same thing? Neither recognizing or admitting, admitting that this is what it is, a dead horse. The great thing in life is that generally, you can get another horse, a live one. Successful people never dwell on past difficulties. If you're not failing, you're probably not moving forward. Prepare yourself to pay the price of the occasional setback in exchange for the progress you're going to be making. Learn from all your experiences, good or bad. Because, sadly, there's nothing that can teach you better than a bad experience. Fail early, fail often, but always fail forward. Only those who dare to fail greatly can achieve greatly, said Robert Kennedy. So where does that leave us? I'd like you to remember three things. First, 
never quit learning. What will you do that will fulfill you and make the world better? That's the second one. Consider your vision in life. And the third one is please remember that no matter what you do, there's going to be mistakes and failures. The measure of the person is not in making them, but how you deal with them and move on. Graduation is only a concept. In real life, every day you graduate. Graduation is a process that goes on and on till the last day of your life. And if you can grasp that, you'll make a difference. I want you to remember, we walk out of here, I want you to remember this. You matter. We'll tell you that, that you matter to Champlain. And if that's not obvious from the way people react to you here, my golly, um, you better blow my glasses. You matter. You are important and you bring things into this world that no one, no one else can. That's what you do. And on that note, we wish you a wonderful, successful rest of your life. Now, oh, sorry. Go ahead. Um, it's, it's embarrassing to blush. Um, I, the people who are not wearing a blue gown, okay? I'd like you to stand up because I need to help. They deserve a standing ovation. And I'd like us all to do that. Okay? they were hard to live with before that. <laughs> Wait till you get them home. At least you have a seat. Now, uh, one last thing before I forget. Now, Dean Howie's going to be annoyed with me, but I'm going to do it anyway. I, I didn't get to do it the first time, so Patrick, the crew that's doing the video, and the team in student services who are amazing. Yes. This thing doesn't happen by accident. It doesn't happen by wishful thinking. It happens because people work their tails off to make this a wonderful event for you. Can we just thank them? Um, all of those of you in blue, this is the time where you get to stand up, throw your hats in the air, and make one last loud noise. So, ladies and gentlemen, the graduating class of 2022.